Hey guys, JJ here, and it looks like we got a ton of new information on Resident Evil 8 Village, including the witch boss fight, zombie gameplay, the new merchant, VR support, and more. So with that being said, let's get right into it. With August right around the corner, we won't have to wait long until we get more official news from Capcom. But our friends over at Biohazard Declassified had cataloged everything that the playtesters had said when they were testing out Resident Evil 8 Village and nicely cataloged it all together in one article. It should be noted that a lot of the information you're going to hear today is, as of right now, a rumor. But if any of this is true, it could be considered a spoiler. So you've been warned. Alright, we'll start off with enemies. The enemies within these areas are very pale, almost rotten skin, with tattoos on their foreheads and hands. Some with armor, but not like night armor that can also be shot off. They only speak of normal enemy types in this test, not like the werewolf-like creatures we'd spoke on, and that was shown in the trailer. They do speak in a distorted foreign language. Some carry daggers, swords, axes, and even spears. There are also some without armed weapons. They jump and grab and bite similar to Resident Evil 3, and you can button mash to take less damage. Some enemies will throw you to the ground instead of biting. The one with a sword has a special attack that can instantly behead Ethan. According to the source, you'll recognize the move once you play the game. So this is very interesting. Uh, to some, it might seem very far-fetched for Resident Evil, but if you think of the Ganados in Resident Evil 4, it's very similar. The ones with the sword may be acting like the new chainsaw enemies. Alright, next up we have Playtest Segment Environment. This part is rather interesting because it seems like the segment they mentioned being tested seems to differ from the information from the other tests that seem more like Ethan was in the village itself leading up to the castle, whereas this information takes place directly within. They say most rooms were bright, but a few bedrooms were dark. The segment was somewhere within the castle on a higher level, and you needed to find a key to open a big door downstairs. So here's where that information gets really interesting. As the claim goes into details of a boss fight, you get in the playtest. Now, this does line pretty close to what we know from the first witch we spoke of from the other test that can dissolve into insects and chase Ian and has a distinctive laugh. This also gives a name to that witch, and that name is Olga. Here's what they had to say in depth about that boss fight. Once opening the door, the lady in black named Olga appeared and released a swarm of insects. The player won't have to fight these insects unless she spots Ethan. She would laugh constantly whenever she spots him. Starting to sound a little similar to somebody else we fought in Resident Evil 7. It goes on to say, in this boss fight, players grab a torch to use fire to scare her insects off to get Olga exposed to shoot her. After a bit of shooting, she'll transform into this insect spider-like creature with long spider legs releasing more insects coming out from her insect-like bottom. Her human remains are still there, but naked and covered with black goo. After the defeat, she's melted and some of her parts of skeletons covered in the goo remained and she dropped an item. She also released all of her insects, to which the player will find and kill and stop them from attacking you in certain rooms. After that, the demo ended. This sounds exactly like Marguerite Baker from Resident Evil 7. This is going to feel like a very familiar boss fight. Now we're moving on to weapons. This playtest featured a handgun, probably the same one shown in the developer preview, a shotgun possibly obtained from the old man in the trailer, an unbreakable knife. It also appeared the player can obtain temporary melee items, like an axe that can be broken with a few hits. This is really cool. I always liked having melee items in Resident Evil. Resident Evil Outbreak had a lot of these. That's where the Bruma Doom came from, so I'm looking forward to using some melee weapons. Here we go into a little bit of details about the inventory, how it's changed from the playtest to the developer message we've seen, but it's going to play a lot like the Resident Evil 4 inventory. And now to what has me most excited, the mysterious old woman. The old woman in robes that can be seen from the Resident Evil Village reveal trailer, also mentioned by our source as being almost like a merchant-like character in the game. So there we go, merchant's back and now it's this old witch lady. As far as our source knows, she is not an enemy, but as our source described, has many goods to sell and rumors to share. Ah, she enjoys the gossip too, stranger. They also spoke briefly on seeing some concept art, but did not speak much on it. This is awesome. I absolutely love the whole merchant upgrading system to Resident Evil 4. Having that aspect of the game really made you want to explore the game more, find the loot, and then sell it at the pawn shop merchant and get upgrades throughout the game. So the fact that they're bringing this back and now she's telling rumors too, I find that really interesting. I'm very excited. And the last bit of information we have here just goes into some of the details after the play tests. Some people that were at the play test mentioned Peter Fabiano there where he said that there was going to be another difficulty which adds like triple the amount of enemies which makes it unfair. So that just goes to confirm we're going to get some different difficulties in the game which is cool. And then the last bit of very interesting information here. Finally they said a VR version of Resident Evil Village will happen but they won't make that announcement until Sony is ready. So there's a lot of really cool information here. I didn't get to read it all I just hit some of the highlights but if you guys want to check it out for yourself the link will be down in the description. I like what I'm hearing. A lot of this sounds like they're taking a lot of elements from Resident Evil 4 which which is exciting. That game was a lot of fun. Uh, but now I'm curious to know what you guys think. What do you think about a new merch?
merchant. What do you think about another Marguerite Baker boss-like enemy? What do you think about the zombie enemies having armor that you shoot off and a decapitation sword attack? Let us know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Resident Evil 8 Village news. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. If you would like to become a YouTube member, click that join button down below and unlock a custom badge next to your name and custom emojis you can use in chat during our live streams. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you back at the Residents of Evil. Thank you.